Well, this is a busy week because we're all busy getting ready for Christmas. I pray that you get ready for Christmas inside of you, that you feel Christmas inside of your mind, every part of your mind, that you just rest, you breathe in and you pause and you realize the reason for the season. You allow the total awareness of the birth of Jesus Christ to occur in and through you. I pray that it uplifts you. I pray it gives you great joy and great hope. I pray that you realize that with God, with you, that all things are going to be better. I pray that you have a birth into a new life experience. I pray that every part of you is alive and, and is in joy. I pray that as you go through the stores, as you buy the gifts, that you are guided by God, that God guides you to gifts that will bring joy. And most of all, I pray that you'll make time to give the ultimate gift, which is a portion of yourself. Give of yourself, give of your love, give of your attention, give of your listening, and, and give of your smiles, give of your kindness, and become part of the Christmas spirit, and allow that Christmas spirit to be spread all around you because of you. I pray that your family will feel it anew. I pray that the co-workers that you work with will feel it. I pray that even strangers on the street will feel it coming from you. And I pray that every person that passes you will feel a sense of Christmas again, that they'll feel a newness, a spirit of being born again with Jesus to experience new life and new hope and, and a profound sense of peace. I pray that every part of Christmas becomes every part of you. I pray that Christmas is lived this year, not from the outside in, but from the inside out. I pray that God will give you gifts this year, special gifts, gifts where you'll feel a sense of, of complete rest at night when you sleep, a complete joy as a child waking on Christmas morning when you get up in the morning, and a bounce in your step that you'll no longer be a Scrooge in any part of your life, that you'll be alive with the Christmas spirit, and the Christmas spirit will be so in you that it cannot be separated from you. I pray that people will see it in your face, will hear it in your words, will hear it in the tone of your words coming out from you, that wherever you are, you'll be an outpouring of the Christmas spirit. May God bless you in every wondrous Christmas way, and Merry Christmas. In the name of the babe born in Bethlehem, we pray, amen.